hello everyone. Just gonna make this didn't work one time and now it's kind of giving me this. Here we go. Hello everyone. How are you? Um, I hope you guys are enjoying your day. It's a beautiful day out here in Massachusetts. And um, I am Jen Ginty. I am a personal wardrobe stylist with Defining the Style. And I help women and men to uh, find the style that they feel most comfortable, confident, and empowered in. Today, I would like to talk to you guys about capsule wardrobes. A capsule wardrobe is a collection of essential items that you need in your wardrobe. Um, capsule wardrobes, I suggest for many people who spend a lot of time in, let's say, like scrubs, if they work at a hospital, or, you know, they're in fitness and they wear a lot of leggings and workout clothing and people who just wear a lot of jeans and t-shirts and um you know leggings and a tunic or something like that like that all the time this is something that i i suggest because it's about 10 to 15 pieces of clothing that all go well together and um it's based off picking one base color and then picking one or two uh, you know, accent colors to go with it so that all of the wardrobe works together and you can mix and match the pieces and they will work out together. Uh, a lot of, you know, the capsule wardrobes that you read about on other sites, they tend to add, they'll say it's about 15 to 20 pieces because they add in accessories and shoes, you know, pocketbooks, jewelry, all that kind of thing. Whereas with me, I feel as though most women have those essentials, those, you know, black pumps, uh, black, you know, uh, ballet flats, um, sneakers, a couple pairs of sneakers they may be able to wear with different outfits. Uh, same with, with jewelry and purses. I feel like women have their staples that they like to use. And so I don't really actually count those into a capsule wardrobe, but I will talk about them so that you better understand how they fit into things. So to start, what you need in your wardrobe for a capsule wardrobe. Well, you need tops, obviously. You need, you know, maybe button down or blouses in general, some t-shirts, you know, some, you know, some regular shirts that you can wear either alone or under a jacket, that kind of thing. And you need pants. For me, I am a jeans girl. I spent four years in my shop um, fitting women in jeans. So I'm kind of like a jeans whisperer and a jeans lover. I have tons of them. So when I talk about pants, I usually tell my clients at least two pairs of jeans because jeans go with pretty much everything, especially if you get a dark wash. So um, for me, it may be, you know, you get yourself a dark wash skinny that can go inside boots um, or you get like a, you know, a mid wash boot cut or dark wash boot cut. And those are great to always have in your wardrobe in general. And then you also, you know, you maybe want a pair of trousers depending on what you do as a lifestyle. And of course, leggings, everybody wants to have leggings and there are different fabrics of legging, leggings that you can bring in. There's the cotton classic for, and these are fashion leggings that I'm talking about, not like workout, not not um, Lululemon leggings, but more about fashion leggings, like a, um, a cotton, a good stretch cotton. My favorite leggings are called Lisse leggings, and I love them because no matter how much, they're, they're a true legging, so they suck you right in, and you can't see through them, and they have this tummy panel that's amazing. And I'll put this kind of information in the comments so you guys can um, look into what I'm talking about. But for leggings, there are all different kinds. There's cotton, there's ponte, which is a thicker fabric. It's a double knit fabric and it looks a little dressier. So people who like to wear a lot of leggings, you could get a pair of ponte that are thicker and they just look more like a pant. And of course, my favorite, I always have to have them, are my vegan leather leggings. And those ones just rock. And Lise makes an amazing vegan leather legging. So if you're into that thing, kind of thing, absolutely take a look at them. But I love to have them in my wardrobe because you can wear them. You can wear them, especially in the winter. You can wear them anytime. You can wear them in the afternoon. You don't have to wait for, uh, you know, night out with the girls to 
suddenly pull out your le your vegan leather leggings or leather if that's your thing if you want to go out and grab yourself a, a pair of real le leather leggings they're going to cost you but if that's what you like and you have the money for it do it so then you know we're going to be looking for to add to the wardrobe um the capsule skirts maybe one or two um i always like to go with having a maxi skirt like a, you know a, a you know basic color like a black or navy or brown a neutral color um and the same with like a pencil skirt just to have in your wardrobe pencil skirt goes a long way ladies i'm telling you having a pencil skirt and looking in your your closet and be like i have to be a little dressier and i have this blouse what am i going to wear with this blouse a black pencil skirt is your friend so those are the two type of skirts that I like to tell people that are um, kind of important for your, your wardrobe capsule. Then we're going to need to look at, you know, jackets. You're going to add on like one jacket or a blazer, um, you know, a denim jacket. Again, I'm a big, you know, denim person. So I like to have at least one denim jacket in my wardrobe and one in a capsule wardrobe, depending on like what color you want. You can get a dark wash, you can get a mid wash, you can get you know, a light wash, whatever you really like, because as I'm about to tell you, I'm not a rule follower. I tell everyone to take whatever style book they think they have in their brain and rip it up and toss it out. Because if you like something, wear it. It's yours and it's your style and you do what you want to do to make yourself happy. And right after Memorial Day or whatever day it is, Labor Day, that thing, get it out of your brain. Don't worry about that. There's no reason to, you know, cut yourself off from the things that you love. So, one, and then one other thing that you can add to your wardrobe for your capsule is a dress. One dress, you don't need to have a lot of dresses. If you don't like dresses, don't get one. But, you know, I love dresses, so I like to have at least one in a capsule. So here are the rules, which, you know, this is old school rules about wardrobe um, capsules. And again, you don't like this rule, then just don't follow it. But for a capsule, the basic rules are you want to choose one neutral, so black, brown, navy, and then you want to pick one to two accent colors. So let's say like, I mean, I love fuchsia. So I have a lot of fuchsia. I'm even wearing it today on my lips. I love my fuchsia. And let's say, you know, you want to pick fuchsia and teal. Fuchsia and teal look really nice together. So picking those two colors, you can really work a lot off of that. So let's say you pick black as a neutral and you've got your fuchsia and you have your teal. So if you start off with the base colors and pick a few items, um, you know, like a pair of the pants, like I've said, uh, pick up some black pants, uh, dark wash jeans. Those are the type of things that you want to stick with when you're getting your basics like pants or a jacket or um, your accessories just so that you have something that can go along with the base color so you have it so if you have a lot of the accent color say in your blouse that you have an accessory like a black accessory or silver or something like that that can you know help balance out the accent colors and again i i honestly feel as there though there's so many um things that women can curate throughout their lives that they keep, like the pair of, you know, black pumps. And maybe you have a pair of like dangly black like earrings that are really cute. So, I mean, we all kind of just curate these things over the years and we have to look at the wear and tear of them. But for the most part, you're pretty much going to have a good bit of accessories. And if you don't, they're pretty cheap. You can go over to Target. You can find a bunch of different fun things at Target. Um, especially in their clearance. They have a good clearance because Bobble Bar does a Target um, specific brand and they're great. Bobble, is, Bobble, Bobble Bar is usually in the like 40s to 60s um, and their targets tend to be more in the 20s to 40s, which is really great. So if that's another tip to give you. Um, so 
after you pick up, let's say, you know, you have a couple of pairs of black pants, uh, leggings, that kind of thing. When you're focusing on your accents, have fun with it. There's no reason to, you know, not have fun with grabbing accent colors. Uh, floral tops, absolutely beautiful. Uh, you know, if you're looking at like a fuchsia and it has a little bit of like orange in it and fuchsia, um, it's beautiful. Something that can fit underneath a jacket is really nice, like a button down. That's maybe that fuchsia color. That's just a straight, you know, plain fuchsia, no, you know, no pattern to it or anything like that. So you can just really have fun with the accent colors and, you know, like an accent color, a fuchsia. And I know I said with like the, you know, the, the uh, main pieces, uh, I saw the most amazing fuchsia blazer that would look fantastic with a pair of black trousers, a black top and that fuchsia, oh, stunning. So it's that kind of thing that you can mix and match. Um, if you find a, a piece that's in that color or has that color in its scheme, go for it. Have fun. Enjoy it. And if it's a part of the capsule um, wardrobe, then you have other pieces that you can put together with it. Just think if you bought a black dress, you know, have a little black dress. If you wanted that fuchsia blouse, I mean, you want that fuchsia blazer, grab it because you got a black dress to put it over. You have a pair of jeans and a t-shirt to put it over. You have trousers or leggings with a button down, like a white button down um, and the fuchsia jacket. So many things that you can do with a capsule wardrobe. And as I said, it's 10 to 15 pieces. So you have a lot to work with. So this may be overwhelming and I'm here for you if you wanna learn more about capsules. Um, you can just leave some comments and you can DM me and let me know if you have any questions or comments about it. Also, um, just to give you, because it's my first time, just to give you a little idea of what I do, what my company does, is so I help people to create wardrobes for themselves. Uh, I do that through wardrobe reorganization. And how that works is I go into your wardrobe or we can do it virtually and we look at all of your pieces in your wardrobe. I ask you to put them on and I tell you why or why not they work. We also look for, you know, damage. We look for just old, you know, old stuff that's just not looking good to, to keep going with. Um, and then what we do is we have the, the pile that you keep, the pile that you're donating, the pile that you're throwing away. Um, if I do this in person with you, I usually take the donations with me so you don't touch them ever again. They're out of your life. You don't have to worry about, oh, but I think I have that that I want to grab. And I donate them to a place called Katie's Closet in Dracut, which is a place that they have, um, they have little closet um, boutiques for kids in school who can't really afford clothes. So they take, get these donations and they make closets inside the high schools and middle schools and different schools so that kids can shop that closet. And um, it's definitely just very true to my heart. Um, but you can donate them yourselves. And then afterwards, after I give you a list of things that I think should, you know, you should add to your wardrobe, I can either bring you out shopping or I can do it online for you. And, you know, we're, we're uh, I'm here for you virtually. I'm here to talk with you and would be happy to help you out to help you discover your own style. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Enjoy your weekend. And I will hopefully talk again with you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye.